uh, choosing the diet because it, 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 mm -hmm. it, you know, they all go hand in hand to keeping you yeah. on your journey. Well, I knew from all the past, quote, mistakes that I made with dieting, that dieting wasn't a viable option for me. It just got me further in the hole. So I thought, okay, I know that's not an option. How about I just start listening to my body, uh, listening to my hunger cues and choosing better foods instead of, I didn't tell myself never again, like you could never have your favorite foods again because I tried that and every time it backfired. So I just started looking more at moderation, um, foods that were from the produce section that weren't processed and full of, you know, God knows what. And I just gradually shifted my choices. And I wasn't in any kind of hurry to get the weight off because I already knew I was an okay person. My self-esteem was not dependent on that. But I just thought if I can make these shifts and make them feel natural and it's a way of life I can live with, then maybe I can really have a chance at this. And that's what I did. I didn't look at it as a diet. I just made little changes, not all at once. Um, I had some great mentors. Um, it all started uh, in January of 2009. I stepped on the scale at my doctor's office and the scale said 345, which was pretty shocking to me. Um, an hour later, I went home and watched Oprah. And she was taught, it was January, so she was talking about weight. I saw Carney Wilson, who was a singer, um, who's lifelong struggle with weight, it was very similar to mine. She looked thin, happy, energetic, and amazing, and I found the man who helped her, and he ended up helping me with power yoga and clean eating, um, just different choices, uh, gluten-free, cow dairy-free, um, things that I didn't think I could really do. I thought it would be too miserable, but I, I really learned how to enjoy food and just shift ingredients around in a way that helped my body and nourished it, but also I, I genuinely enjoyed it. And that's why I wrote the cookbooks too. And I still love to eat. That's not changing, <laughs> you know? And I, I realized I don't need to change that about myself. We're meant to enjoy food. And now you're bringing all this, you know, positive energy and enjoyment of food. You're bringing that to uh, help other people as well. Tell me about that. Yes, well, there's gonna be a magazine out this coming week. I, it should be on stand September 6th, Women's World. I'm the cover story, it's a weight transformation story, but they really include a lot of the main points of how I got it off, uh, how I maintain motivation, um, and just how I do it long term because soon I'm gonna be celebrating 10 years. 10 years, I mean, I couldn't keep the weight off for 10 weeks and here it is 10 years later. So. I really feel like I've found a formula that works. I know I've, I've helped other people find their way. Everyone's a little different. There's no one way, but it really starts with getting to know your body, getting to like your body. That's so important. I had to really let go of the self-hatred before anything was gonna be lasting for me. Um, and talk about like the other people that, you know, like that, in, take your services and, and you help uh, yeah. clients and stuff. Yeah, I, I coach people, I, I help them find their way in terms of a, a better, first of all, better relationship with themselves, with their body. Uh, some of my clients have been so damaged by family members, by society, by classmates, and <clears throat> that's what the starting point is. Um, so many people write to me and say, oh, just tell me what to eat, you know, that's all. And <clears throat> that's important, but it's not everything. So I coach people on how to get more of an emotional footing uh, to feel good about themselves, and then changes just kind of take root from there. I teach yoga. I do uh, cooking demonstrations around the region, and I've got a website with lots of recipes, lots of essays, and I just released a new book, which is not a cookbook. It's all about the emotional side of the journey, which can't be ignored, not if you're an emotional eater. And I think everybody can be to some extent. I mean, food is co 